my name is uh, Mustin. I'm from, uh, from Prakti and uh, we make cook stoves. Half the world population use wood, cow dung, or if you see here, straw for cooking. They're using traditional stove straight from the Stone Age. We want to solve this problem by making fuel efficient stoves. These stoves has an amazing performance, especially reducing black uh, particulate matter and CO2. This is our innovation. It's a turbine type design that allows this, uh, this performance. My name is uh, Ratel and uh, this is Ginny. We're from the Tempu team. And our mission is to radically improve health outcomes for children in low income communities. About a third of the babies born in India are born clinically low birth weight and have complications like hypothermia and infection, which cause uh, irreversible injury and death. The solution that we presented, which you have in front of you here, is a wristband uh, called Pempu. That anytime the baby is hypothermic, the device sounds an alarm to wake up the mother so she can warm the baby well before hypoglycemia, hypoxia, or any injury can occur to the infant. Good afternoon, I'm, my name is Manohar. Uh, I represent Green Robo. Uh, just a quick intro, the primary reason I'm, I'm a farmer uh, by profession now. The biggest problem uh, in the Indian agriculture is availability of labor, uh, peak labor. There are three reasons primarily why this is happening. It's primarily the economic, social and political. India and the rest of the world, horticulture is mostly manual. I have 12 acres of farm, but I can do only four acres or not more than four acres because purely I don't get the labor when I need it. We are a company doing a farm robotics to take care of some of the critical problems, primarily uh, to take care of the peak labor. We're happy to present Nano Science Lab. We are, uh, as a company, uh, we are Genius Edu Labs. I am uh, Bala Bhaskar. I have with me Uday, the chief designer. And we are a SME engaged in manufacturing portable, cost effective, and modular science laboratories for schools. The problem what we are addressing is 66% of schools in India do not have science laboratories. With a conviction to serve visually impaired people around the world, Crossum Tech came into existence. Good afternoon, one and all. My name is Madha Agarwal, co-founder of Crossum Tech. We have created a variable that will help a blind person to navigate independently. For us, reaching a destination is as simple as getting into a car. Either we are familiar with the route, or otherwise use navigation system to find directions. My name is Geetanjali Radhakrishnan. I'm the founder of Adivo Diagnostics, which was started four months ago. So it's primarily aimed at making portable healthcare devices customized for low resource setting areas. So this is a concept of a portable dermoscope that can detect and classify skin infection causing pathogens. I'm co-founder of Chakra Innovation. We are a team of engineers based out of Delhi, and we believe that we can uh, provide solution to the biggest problems through the use of technology. So digging a deeper about the problem of air pollution, uh, like our beloved capital city Delhi has recently been tagged as the most polluted city in the world. Now the process. So we install our device at the uh, diesel gensets uh, and the suit goes on collecting in the device for over a month. After the month, our logistic team goes to the site, collects this uh, suit solution, brings it to a facility where we do some minimal uh, processing and we convert it into powdered form. Now this powdered form of carbon uh, has to be uh, uh, mixed with a binder and we are ready to print with pollution. And this wall painting uh, purified over 30 million liters of air. I'm Matthias, I'm responsible for business development and Harry, um, who's responsible for R&D. ME Solcher is an energy trading platform provider that serves rural Bangladeshi people to share and trade electricity among them. We provide hardware and software that enables the, the buildup of uh, small smart grids that, um, um, that are built from the bottom up on existing solar home system infrastructure. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rohini from 4S Learning. Our aim is to take education and skill training to the rural and remote parts of India. Our objective is to enhance the literacy and skill levels of the rural youth and make them ready for employment in local industry. 65% of the Indian population lives in villages, villages that do not have basics like electricity, digital infrastructure, 
or schools, teachers, books, you name it, it's all missing. Basically, we focus on farmers and the corporate farming companies actually who are involved in agriculture. Farmers, I mean to say, the open field uh, farmers who are engaged in, uh, who are having small farms, engaged in vegetable cultivation, and of course, uh, the greenhouse uh, farmers who are growing cash crops like capsicum and floriculture and things like that.